Hi everyone, happy Monday. Dr. Danielle Manala with Eat, Grow, and Heal. I've probably made this before, but I'm going to put together a chicken pesto pasta dish with some veggies. So it was Monday, or it is Monday, and I was gonna make chicken tikka masala because it's what I often make on Mondays, and I was requested to make something else, and so here I am. Today I'm gonna be making um, a pesto pasta with veggies aka whatever veggies I have in my fridge. So I boiled some water and added two dry cups of this whole wheat pasta. And I know it doesn't look like a lot, but a lot of the dish is going to be vegetables and chicken, so it's gonna be pretty hearty already to begin with. Um, and interestingly, this pasta has got eight grams of protein. So sounds pretty good. I'm gonna try it out and we'll see how it turns out. I've also got the chicken sitting here in my Instapot. And they're already chicken cutlets that I cut up into little pieces. So honestly, three minutes with a little bit of pesto in there. And then now I'm just gonna saute the veggies and add everything together. So I've got a hot pan here with Dr. Angie Neeson's hack for garlic infused olive oil. She's on Instagram, Flavors for Wellness MD. Definitely check her out. So I've got that here, I'm gonna add one zucchini, probably eight brussels that I quartered, a handful of mushrooms that I sliced, and then add a little bit of salt and pepper. There we go. See, it feels like a lot of the pan here. And my boys are four and six, so I'm sure as they grow, they're gonna start eating a lot more. I usually make this with um, zucchini noodles, so you can just doodle a zucchini, and what I do is put the contents just on top of the zucchini noodles and have it that way. Or not, and just have a little bit of the pasta and mostly the chicken and veggies. So it's up to you. So just saute these down. It's gonna be just a couple of minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and the veggies have sauteed down a bit. If you've got Brussels in there, it's gonna be more minutes. So. I washed a couple dishes while I was waiting for that to go down. And I took the chicken out of my Instapot. They were already cut up into little chicken breast cutlets, so literally took only three minutes in there. And I removed it from the fluid. Add it to your veggies. Add the pasta. And add some pesto. So yes, I've made my own pesto, but this is Costco pesto, which is actually pretty darn good. And so that's what I'm using. You can turn down the heat while you mix all of this up. And just fold everything together. Looking Shit good. Got it. Shit got it. The last times I've made this, I put an entire chicken breast or two in the Instapot and cooked it for six minutes on high and let it naturally release and then chopped it up into smaller pieces and then added it to the chicken. So whatever you have, whole or cutlets, whatever you like, you can add it to the pasta dish. It's just the timing of how long it will cook will change. That looks good. Dinner. I just serve it straight out of my electric set because it's pretty, it's red. One of my favorite colors. The second favorite behind the sparkle. All right, now all I have to do is make a salad and we're ready to go. Hope you enjoy. Peace out.